Hello from the Creation Station! In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete our Pokemon Light Up Pendant project, which is our first project in conjunction with the La Quinta Library Summer Reading Program. If you haven't heard the news, these are going to be curbside pickup projects. Each week we'll have a different project, and if you want to get the project kit, you can email or call us to get your name on the list. So this video is our how-to for our first week, which we actually missed, so we're playing catch-up. Like I said before, this is our Pokemon Light Up Pendant project to go along with our theme of the week, which is dinosaurs. There's actually a bunch of dinosaur-themed Pokemon, which some people might be surprised to know. My favorite is called Arkin. It's named after the Arkin geological era, and it's actually based on the Archaeopteryx, which is a bird-type dinosaur that lived during the transition between feathered dinosaurs and our modern birds. It's one of the oldest known birds in the world, which I think is pretty cool. So in your kit, you should have the following. Three pieces of wood that look like this, a single white LED light, a three volt battery that looks like a coin, two black screws with hex nuts at the end, that's what these are, a single length of suede cord, a few different lengths of copper tape, and a piece of plastic in a circle shape that has a Pokemon laser cut onto it. If you're missing anything from your kit, let us know and we can arrange to get you replacements. Now you're going to start with this LED. Be gentle with it because you don't want to break it. See how one of the stems is longer than the other? That's because LEDs are polarized, meaning the electricity can only travel in one direction. To test to make sure your LED is working, just slip the coin battery in between the stems. In one direction nothing happens, but in the other, the LED should light up. If your LED doesn't light up, you might not be holding it right, or your battery might not be working. Let us know and we'll get you a replacement. The stems of the LED will bend, so gently bend them in opposite directions, so it looks like the LED is doing the splits. Now bend it back down so there's just a little bit of a curve. We want to match this piece of the wood here because this is where the LED is going to go. To make it easier, you can go ahead and just slip the LED into this spot and push it down as far as it'll go. We want the stems to fit nicely into these channels and we don't want them to poke out at all. This might take a little bit of time to get just right. Next, find the two medium-sized strips of copper tape. There's an extra long length of tape if you make any mistakes, but try to use the pre-cut ones first. Attach one piece of tape to one stem and the other to the other so the extra tape sticks out, like so. It doesn't matter how far down the stem you go, just try to make sure the two pieces of tape aren't touching each other. With the copper tape attached, slide the LED back into that channel so it fits snugly in place, and the copper tape sticks out. This might be tricky, but you want to fold the copper tape towards the center and out the other side of that center hole. The battery is going to sit in the center hole, and the copper tape is conductive, so it will take the energy from the battery and into the LED, lighting up your pendant. So we need to make sure there's only one bit of tape on each side of the center hole, otherwise the circuit's not going to work. The electricity has to have a clear path that it can follow. With these last bits of tape, we're going to tape down the ends of the original copper tape onto the opposite side of the piece of wood from where you started. That might sound a bit tricky, but just watch what I do in the video and it should make some sense. Make sure your LED circuit looks pretty close to how mine looks here, and double check to make sure you've taped everything down right. You can go ahead and slip the coin battery into that opening again just to make sure your LED lights up. If it doesn't, you might have either too much tape or too little tape in your circuit. Redo your circuit with your extra tape and let us know if you're having any problems. Once the circuit's done, the only thing left to do is to assemble the pendant. Ready your screws by removing the hex nuts and be careful not to lose them. Grab the two remaining pieces of wood and slip one on each side of the notch on the top of that circle of plastic, like this. There should be room between them to fit the LED circuit. Slide that down into place so the three wooden pieces fit together as best as possible. The LED will make the middle part stick out just a little bit, but that's okay, as long as the holes on the sides line up. Starting on one side of the pendant, Stick the tiny black screw through one of the circular holes so it sticks out the other side, and then carefully screw on the hex nut onto the bottom of that screw. The screw and the hex nut are going to clamp the wood into place so the pendant will hold its shape and not fall apart. Do that again with the other screw as well. And once you finish that, your pendant is done. Just thread the cord through the hole at the top and tie a knot, and your pendant's ready to wear. The wood is laser cut to just the right size so it'll hold the battery into place so you can wear the pendant lit up for hours. 
If you have any problems or questions you want to ask us, please let us know. Comment here on Facebook or call or email us and we'll be available to help you out. We've got many more weeks of summer reading program projects ready for everyone and we can't wait to show them to you. Until next week, stay safe and we'll see you soon!